Hey guys, this is Matt with bleepinjeep.com. Today we're going to install this bastard pack leaf spring that we made in the last video. But first, don't forget to check out my website, bleepinjeep.com. It's got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff. We've also got some cool teas for you. And don't forget to subscribe down below and check out my Facebook page. Alright, so before you get started, the first thing you'll want to do is to measure um, from the ground to your fender just to see how it sits now. And obviously I've got this jacked up, but I measured it previously and it was at, uh, I believe, 31 and a half inches um, stock. So you want to do that before you install this so you'll know how much lift you're getting. And uh, you can adjust accordingly. Alright, after you do that, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you'll want to do is jack this thing up pretty high on the axle. And then take the jack stand, put it under the frame rail, up as high as it'll go, and then let down your jack. There you go, now that will give you some room to work here. The next thing to do is take off your shock with the 18 millimeter bolt here. And now you can take off your spring plate with the 3 quarter inch. Alright, now while you're down here, you can just go ahead and remove your rear sway bar altogether. Just uh, four bolts on either side here will take this off. A lot of people remove this as soon as they get the chance and uh, I don't think it's even needed. And most people agree. Alright, now you can just pull that right out. There we go. Make sure to save that and you can use it as a yard ornament. And do remember to save these right here that came off of here. These make great uh, BPE, bar pen eliminators, so we'll use those in another video soon. Alright, so when I dropped all that stuff, the uh, axle landed on my jack again. I'm just going to let that down. And hopefully... I can separate the axle from the leaf spring. There it is. Now I've got space to pull it out. Alright, now comes the fun part. We're at the back of the leaf spring here. Here's the shackle. And now you have to get this bolt out. There's not a real easy way to do this. Um, this is 13 sixteenths on both sides. And what I recommend is just two wrenches. You're probably also going to need a big pipe and maybe a breaker bar and a socket if you want to try that. But uh, you can't really get much up in here, so it's usually a pain in the butt. Finally got it. Now we can move on to the front. Alright, so we finally got it unbolted on the front and the back. Now we should be able to pull it out. Alright, now I'll just clean off the perch a little bit with a wire brush. And then give it a quick shot of paint. And now I'll try to wiggle the new uh, pack in place. The big bushing goes towards the front. And then I'll try to get that front bolt in first and then we'll work on the rear.
All right, now just make sure that this front bolt is where it needs to be. Don't uh, tighten it down, but just make sure it's in the hole. And now we can work on getting the back in place. All right, so getting this bolt in can be a little tricky. Um, and it helps to have two people. More than likely your uh, shackle is going to be stuck in place, so to get that loose you're just going to loosen this top bolt a little bit so it pivots back and forth. And then what you're going to do is pry down your shackle, I mean your leaf spring, and see if those holes will line up. And they don't quite line up, so what you're going to do then is you're going to jack up the leaf spring while still applying pressure and that's going to bring it back just a little bit. It needs to go a little further and that's just about got it. Let's see if I can get it in there. Ah, there it is. Now I got that just by prying down on the on the leaf spring while I jacked it up. And that, what that did was just flatten it out and extend it out further backward until I was able to get that bolt through there. And there it is. I just kicked it and you can see that it dropped down into that hole kind of hard to see from there but basically there's a, a hole on the bottom of this spring perch that needs to line up with that pin. Once it's in place then these two will mesh together and you know you've got it in there. Alright so now I can take the spring bolts and the U-bolts and put them back through along with the spring plate. Now with this bastard pack that we did you can reuse your original U-bolts. Um, if you're going to be putting a block in there, or if you're going to be adding any more leafs than we did, then you'll have to get uh, new longer U-bolts, and you can get those at trailer supply places or online, sometimes even at the auto parts stores. Alright, so you want to go around and tighten these good and tight. You want to make sure that you um, get them both, instead of tightening one all the way down and having it sticking way up and the other one not so much you want to get them pretty much even and uh, tighten them down good and tight and then you're going to want to come back and check them in about 500 miles and then come back and check them in a thousand miles or 10,000 miles you just want to make sure that these stay tight because they have a tendency to come loose whenever you're messing with them alright guys we're almost done here but let me show you one more thing um, this bastard pack came with spring clips but if it didn't you can purchase these separately and add these on. Um, but there's one more thing. This bottom spring doesn't have a clip around it and I've seen these on the trail come sideways a lot and they'll dig into your tire and uh, just make a hole in your tire. So what I'm going to do is I've taken one of these spring clips and I've just straightened it out. Um, since this isn't long enough to go around the entire thing, I'm just going to go around part of it here. And to do that, I'm just going to get it in kind of close. You don't want it to be out too far because this still has to flex. So I'm just going to get it in kind of close and then hammer it in. Alright, it's all the way in there. Now I'll just bend it back down. Put this holder in place on the bottom. Now I'll just bend these clips up here and it'll look like this one over here. And that should hold this bottom spring from pivoting around inside there. Alright, now all that's left to do is tighten up the bolts on the rear and the front and then we'll set it down and uh, see what kind of lift we have. Alright guys, so we just got uh, almost three and a half inches of lift um, with the S10 Bastard Pack uh, combined with the Cherokee Pack. And that was less than $100 and I bought uh, the Cherokee Pack 
and the S10 pack. If you just wanted the S10 pack and use your own Cherokee leaves, then you'd be looking at about $50 from the junkyard. On our next video, we'll do the front lift, try and match the rear. Don't forget to check out my website, bleepinjeep.com. It's got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff. We've also got shirts there. If I've helped you out, guys, I really appreciate it. If you buy a shirt, that's what keeps us going, and uh, that's what gets you more videos. Don't forget to subscribe below and check out my Facebook page. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Leave your comments below. Thanks.